Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Waterwise and welcome back to From the Depths for some more entirely scientifically valid combat testing because it was time because uh, for those of you who don't know who perhaps missed it I've built another battleship. It was built entirely live on camera on live stream twitch.tv slash borderwise I hope that's the right URL links in the description probably and I'm quite happy with her. She's a uh, She's like a continuing, ongoing battleship development. Um, nothing incredibly fancy. She was just made uh, for the custom campaign I'm playing through right now, also on stream. And, well, she's uh, 1.5 million materials. She's got uh, two big APS turrets, two big laser turrets, a bunch of secondary weapons. And, well, she's, I don't know, she's all around kind of pretty decent. And, um, of course, on stream, someone suggested that she fight. Uh, the other battleship that I made recently, who is simultaneously something I'm very proud and kind of embarrassed about. Uh, T. Stolly herself, uh, the Titan Slung, um, Mark II specifically, because the Mark II is slightly better, as you would expect. And I... Going into this, I do suspect that the Titan Slung is going to win, because um, I just put a lot more effort into the Titan Slung. But, uh, and also because she's like an extra 300,000 materials uh, more expensive. And, but I don't know really. Uh, mostly this is to see how it shakes out. It is best of three, of course. So let us turn time back on and see what happens. So crams are... What are those crams going to do? So these are honking big crams. And they make a bit of a mess. And let's see how that uh, went through the armor. That got all the way through and actually was stopped by the uh, heavy armor beam layer. So that's handy. And, oh yeah, there's another one. Weep. Did that do anything? Nope, that missed. So both of these craft have uh, pretty strong lasers and lamps and stuff like that. And it looks like uh, T. Stali is in the lead. T. Stali is definitely in the lead. And T. Stali is also faster, I should mention. So I do think she does have the advantage. That looked painful, whatever that was. My God, I forget how strong those crams are. Every so often, you just forget. And, um... Yeah, the uh, the one thing that uh, the uh, tungsten slung does have is torpedoes, which does make a bit of a difference. Uh, the titan slung has a lot of torpedo interceptors, I believe. Uh, let's see what's happening in here. Uh oh, well that's not good. Uh, it's already digging in. Those uh, those hollow points are no joke. Let's see what's happening here. The um. Uh, the Tungsten Slung has a pure Sabo, by the way, so, um, it should just punch... Oh, no, it isn't. It isn't, actually. Those uh, Sabo shells aren't quite strong enough to go straight through uh, the armor here. But when they do... Oh, uh, interesting. I don't know who's going to win this. Um, actually, no, I do know who's going to win this. It's going to be t Stali. Although, I don't know. It depends on whether she can keep landing uh, cram shots on target. Uh, because that alpha burst makes a big difference. Eee. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Huh. I mean, T. Starly is like... Both of these things can be nicknamed T. Starly, I just realized. Um, I'm trying to think, who has the stronger lasers? I think... Uh, I think the Tungsten Slung does, actually. Oh, boy. Oh dearie me, this uh, this is getting to be a fight range in which uh, T. Stali uh, does not have the original. Is like Tongue Stali? No, Tongue Stali sounds weird. Although that's scratch one cram cannon. Yep. Wait a minute. Yep, that is definitely one cram cannon which is not working. 
My goodness. Uh oh, broadside. Uh oh, that's not the right way you want to turn. That's not the right one way you want to turn, tungsten. Although, no, wait, actually, that's smart. Oh, yeah, I forgot this thing had a cram mortar. I just completely forgot. I wonder if that's definitely not going to land anywhere. Oh, yeah, and uh, broadside behavior, uh, when the center of mass shifts, um, the thing shows its other side, which is probably a very, very good idea. And now t Stali is the one getting shot at from the front. Maneuvering is important. I don't think it's going to make enough of a difference, though. Although those lasers actually are, like... Later. Oh, yeah, the t Stali always did kind of have a bit of a problem uh, with lacking laser defense. Oh, yeah, it looks... Whoa, yeah, it looks like... Uh, yeah, t Stali is losing her crams. And I think the gap's actually closing. That looked like... Yep, it looks like the smokestacks were taken off. <laughs> yes, yes it was. Smoking is bad for you. Okay, I've got a seat. Oh, actually, wow! Those cram mortars might actually be very distracting. Cram mortars are, like, great fun. Uh, because, simply because... I don't know, it's really easy to forget about them. <laughs> now that's a that's period of time where the lasers weren't shooting tungsten. I think, I think, I'm not sure. Yeah, this heavy armor belt, I have regrets. Oh, I have regrets about T Stali, I really do. She's good, but whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Actually, the Tungsten Slung's weapons uh, seem to be staying online a lot better. I think maybe I did a better job with the with the turrets, protecting them. Or maybe it's just because they're bigger. Let's see here. Let's follow a torpedo. Let's see if these things get intercepted. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, actually. They're getting very much intercepted. Woof! <laughs> That's interception. Right, so, um, yeah, it doesn't look, it doesn't actually look that good for t Stali at the moment. A lot of her main weapons have been shut down, which is the problem with using, uh, single firing piece turrets. It's not smart. Is there, there is poles in there. I never, t oh, I never changed that. Oops. Yeah, I think the, the t Stali's lead is shrinking. A bit by bit. And that's the problem with crams. That is the problem with crams. Uh-oh. Those are laser components falling off there. Uh-oh. That's not good. Ah, oh, T-Stali. Oh, T-Stali, you were a magnificent ship. But, like, really, serious design flaws. Also, like, like thinking about this... Is, uh, it would be kind of embarrassing if the Tungsten Slung did worse because A, more meta craft, ABS, a super cavitation sabo, and B, more recent craft. I've learned since then, or at least I should have. Oh no. Oh dear, the APS is down. The APS is down. She's doomed. Yeah, no, like, uh, tung the Tungsten's gonna win this. <laughs> She's gonna win this. Oh, man. Okay, those Sabo guns actually make a bit of a difference. They just, you know, they don't do a lot of damage as quickly uh, as those crams, at least when they hit. But, um, yeah, they add up over time. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? Yeah, well, the Tungsten's in the lead now. It's funny, actually. It's almost like APS is a better weapon system than crams in almost every way. And those of you who are surprised to hear me say that, even though I love crams, I love them so much 
I freely admit that they're not the best weapon type. Also, the armor scheme on the uh, Titan Slung is absolute trash. Like, it's not great. It was this whole thing, if anyone who wasn't already aware, this whole thing was a compromise, um, because I was building this thing back when uh, my computer couldn't handle a very big craft, so I was trying to save a uh, block count whenever possible. Ah, dearie, dearie me. Poor T. Stully. Let's have a look over at Tungsten. I think that thick-ass armor, like, really did help. It stopped, it stopped uh, those cramps just enough so they didn't kill you instantly. Also, I'm amazed that mortar survived. Wow. Perhaps this would be different if I uh, faced this off against the original uh, uh, Titan Slung. Uh, because uh, that has uh, pen depth crams rather than hollow points. Yeah. I should actually make, like... It's interesting, really. You can't just swap um, uh, the APS and cram uh, on something for the for the other one and expect good results. It's funny. Like, uh, cram craft, you really do have to design them... Um, design the craft around them. Which is a sign that they're not really that great uh, weapon system, actually, because I might be contradicting myself a little bit, but things like APS and missiles, you can just slap them down and they just work. They just work as you expect. Unless they're really big, in which case, um, oh, I'm so embarrassed, the poles. Back when I thought poles were really good. Uh-oh. Oh, the torpedoes. Man, the torpedoes! Except... You don't need to, they're automated. I do wonder if these things are. Nope, it's gonna miss. Maybe I should make that my signature. It's just every craft has at least one cram mortar on it. But on the other hand, um. I have been trying. I've been trying. You've gotta believe me, guys. I've been trying. Uh, to do less uh, cram stuff uh, on the channel, and I say that I did. I did friggin' that. Um, what do you call it? The building the ship from scratch. A series I'm currently doing. That that had a cram episode because well, it does. It's going to have other things as well. I swear. Oh dear, poor T. Stolly. Poor T. Stolly, you were a compromise. You were a wonderful compromise, but uh, compromise nonetheless. Oh dear. Oh deary, deary, deary me. This is one of those crafts that, um... Yeah, the engine compartment... Oh, the engines. I have such regret about the engines on this thing. Oh dear. Oh deary, deary me. I mean, I could, uh, like, redo the armor on the Titan Slung and make it, you know, just layered uh, metal. Uh, layered metal and alloy, but man, that's work. And I like, you know, there is a time in which you just have to like salute the craft and move on, which I kind of have done actually, because uh, uh, the tungsten slung is actually kicking ass a little bit. Although maybe she got lucky. My goodness, oh dear, somebody is having a bad day. Also, I need to get back into the habit of like duct taping torpedoes onto everything because man, oh man, that makes a big difference. Well, T. Stali, you did, you fought valiantly, but this was actually kind of an ass whooping, like 89% um, health, and uh, yeah, this is why, man, there's so many things wrong with the T. Stali that you only really know when you friggin. Uh, you only really know if your craft's good or not once it's actually done, and, um... It's a crying shame if it's, like, really big. Hmm. Well... Oh, the cram mortar finally hit! That's nice. And... The snake is the last thing to go. I am proud of this snake. This titan snake. Whoops. And yes, alright, so round one, definitely the Tungsten Slung uh, won that one. 
but uh, let's just check our setup. Also, by the way, they are spawning in at 45 degrees because I like that. That's a good compromise between broadsiders and frontsiders. So let's do that again and let's see if we get similar results. Uh, also, I think the fact that the tungsten slung is so, well, low slung, uh, that really does help in like dodging cramps because they tend to whiff over it. I do like uh, making things um, that uh, are low slung. So because like slung, hehe, <laughs> slung. For anyone who doesn't know, slung is Afrikaans and I guess Dutch uh, for snake. So that's fun. Also, that starting smoke um, kind of helps with the lasers, I feel. And that is going to... Oh, hello. That's perhaps made a bit of a difference. Uh, that has a... I don't remember that. I don't remember sticking heavy armor slopes in there. My goodness. Well, that makes a huge difference immediately. One less laser. Let's have to, we'll have to see if that makes a significant difference. Interesting how the uh, the cram brawler is the one that uh, comes off worse in the extended fight. Yeah, that's a uh, that's an issue. I think a pen depth shot actually would have done much better there. I say that uh, the problem. Also, the fact that there's just large gaps in the uh, tungsten's lung, where really there's not much. There's like nothing to destroy. It means like in a cross section, uh, you just well, it does nothing happens. Oh yeah, but the th the thickness of the armor really, really does help because it just it's eating up all that. Um, it's just eating up all that. Uh, what do we call it? It's just eating up all that damage, just sponging it. Uh, but uh, T Starly is in the health lead, so we have to see uh, if the tungsten slang can get lucky because I think she was just very lucky that she wasn't hit more. Uh, in um, in the vulnerable, so to speak. Although the Titan's Lung just suddenly lost a lot of health. What happened here? Oh, the torpedo department. Department? Compartment. Got damaged. Let's see over here. Let's go have a look at T-Star. Let's see how she's doing. Yeah, I think her lack of laser defense is, like, really hurting her, I think. Because, uh, it means those lasers take the turrets out. What am I locking on to? Whee! Cram cannon! Oh, that doesn't look good for you. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Yeah, that doesn't look good. <laughs> Oh boy. Ah boy. In case anyone's wondering why uh, the Mark II Titan Slung is using those hollow point cram shells, it is because um, they're more damage efficient at the amount of kinetic damage she has. Um, beyond a certain point, AP crams just kind of. Um, they don't really like. Um, Basically, there's only, like, ships aren't usually thick enough for, like, 120,000 kinetic damage to be worth it, really. So instead, uh, making a hollow... Oh my word, that was right on the target. Making a hollow point means that all that kinetic damage gets used, because it just makes a huge thump. And yeah, the, this time, I think T. Stali is actually going to win, because uh, that's... Um, at least one, possibly two main guns taken down. This is the problem with having uh, not that many main weapons uh, on your craft. The main reason I do that is because, well, quite frankly, I'm lazy and I kind of hate making super firing stuff. Also, I like one big thing because it makes, uh, it makes for a smaller craft. Uh, boy. Oh dear. Oh dear, I was singing the praises of... Uh, uh, the tungsten slung a little bit too much, wasn't I? Oh dear, insufficient barrel length. And there's that little heat gun doing things. 
And there goes the, uh oh, there goes the superstructure. Oh, that's one of the great things about any kind of heavy hollow point thing, is just when it hits uh, a chunk of blocks, like a, like a hit, like something like superstructure, something that's mostly, that's not very thick, that's not layered, it just tears at a new one. Also, one thing that uh, I perhaps next cram battleship I make, uh, I should use is the combination AP hollow points. So you have uh, two, three, maybe four um, crams uh, in a turret, and then what you do is one of them is set to hollow point and the other one is set to AP, so you get the best of both worlds. And all you have to do is tweak a setting in the fuse box and. Uh, there you go. Excuse me. I'm hiccuping. I am doing a hiccup. Wee Splat. And goodbye. Well, now, well, now the tungsten slung's disabled. RNG is very much a problem here. Also, I think I need to, like, up the uh, smoke dispension on both these things, because lasers seem to do too much, too quickly. Ah uh, yes, the torpedoes. Are they uh, gonna make a difference? I don't think so. Nope, I don't think so they are not. What's that? Oh, that's cram pieces. Oh no, the cram mortar! The cram- uh oh. That's not good, that's getting right in there. Damn. It was interesting that at some point Oh my goodness, that actually hit. Or did it hit? I'm trying to see, like, t Starly seems to have survived much better this time around. Also, that back turret still gets stuck and I don't know how to fix it. And that turret got snubbed and I hate that. Barrel guards need to be better. I just realized that the superstructure of the t Starly looks kind of like a mouth. And he's like, you just sitting in like, Meh. And it looks like Tungsten's Lung is having a bit of buoyancy issues. And they got, oh my goodness, once they get into the guts of the craft like that, that looked painful. That looked extraordinarily painful. She's not sinking though. She's doing better than T. Starly on that front. Maybe I should make those frags 180 degrees. Yeah, so uh, this is kind of what I thought was going to happen in round one. It's just um, bit by bit, uh, just, um, what do we call it? Just the T-Starly uh, just dropping stuff like on top of the, uh, on, top, on top of the other T-Starly. Like, what the hell do I nickname this thing? And I shouldn't have used another T. There's too much T. Not enough coffee. See? See Starly? No. Tungsten. Sten Starly. Yay! Sten Starly! That's the one. That's one for you Dragon Age Origin fans out there. Do you remember Sten? Some people love Sten, some people hate him. I used to be a fan of that game. And then I took... Uh, then I took a Skyrim to the knee. Whoopsie daisy. I mean, she's not out of the fight yet. Torpedoes. Torpedoes are good. Torpedoes are fantastic. Like, it is so satisfying to watch a cram craft run. Sorry, I'm biased. I'm a cram gunner, I always will be. Yeah, I think I did. Note to self 180 degrees on those frags. Because, uh, just to ensure that, like, no matter where they hit, they do something. Or maybe not. You missed, you fool! How dare you! You missed, you fool, again! Sweet splat. Well, tungsten slung, valiant effort. I'm actually amazed that uh, this thing is still going. Like, uh, I believe the central compartment is, yeah, stuffed. Also, these possibly are the worst steam engines in the world, and I apologize. Uh, they are horribly, horribly inefficient. Mainly, they're just really strong. Like, really I keep saying strong when I should be saying powerful. That was brutal. 
That was incredibly brutal! Did you see how brutal that was? Like, oh my god! Oh my... Oh my debatable god. Ooh. Just put her out of her misery! Just let it end! I really do have to, like, uh... Get in the habit. I need to really knuckle under and really, like, I don't know. I need to remember to make, to design my craft from the very beginning to be more laser proof because I keep forgetting lasers exist even though I use them all the time. Like, one definite benefit that uh, trying to do cram only neater, by the way, that's not continuing. Um, one definite benefit of that is that I appreciate lasers so much now. I appreciate them so much. When you try and shoot down a gannet or something like that and you just only have, like, crams to do it. Oh, you appreciate hitscan weapons so much that they're in this game. I used to hate them. Now I love them. So, yeah. Ironically, my fa- my... Cran- Cran? My cram fanness. Uh, led me to realizing that um, you have to appreciate all weapons from the depths or else you will go crazy. You will go mad. You will go batty. Oh, jeez. Like, the aftermath of um, big cram cannons on a craft, it's never pretty. It's never pretty. How are you still afloat? Oh, you're not, actually. Nope. <laughs> okay, I said that. Health below 80% and sinking. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. Well, that's the first time I've seen uh, the Tungsten Slung get uh, properly um, mauled. I think her arm is better than T Stali. I think she overall is a better ship, but she is just smaller and cheaper, so. Um, also, uh, those crams are just about the only uh, thing I'm really proud of, apart from the fact that they're single barrel. So, um, yeah. Also, big, reasonably slow ships are just the, are pretty much the one thing that crams are good at shooting at, so... So, yeah, that is, uh... That does make a big difference. Mm -hmm. Incidentally, building uh, the Tungsten Slong at the same time as the, uh... Complete craft start to finish thing that I was doing. Um... I was getting confused about what I've done where, so... That's fun! That's fun and interesting. I was yawning with excitement. It's totally not because my sleep pattern is, like, tremendously messed up. Alrighty, and uh, now she's dissolved in salt water. Oh dear. Uh, now, round three, the tiebreaker. Let's see here, Tongson's long. da 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go. Where are you? There you are. There is T-Stali. Incidentally, the Tungsten Slung uh, has an ACB that gets it to trigger smoke immediately, just so it doesn't get mauled by lasers. Um, probably overkill for the Caravonian Rebellion, but... Uh, it's good to practice these things. Alright, is that cram gonna hit? Oh my goodness. It did. It did... What did that do? What did that do? Oh, that... Whoa, that took out a laser again. You know, as it does. As it does. Jeez, that took out a lot of stuff. What did that... Whoa, hello. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Wait, oh, yeah, it also took out a sizable chunk of the hull. Ooh, baby. It is actually one of my favorite weapon combinations these days, is just crams uh, with lasers, simply because they complement each other so well. Uh, and both of them just do not give a single crap about armor, so... I mean, in general. Let's see what that did. Uh-oh, that's not good. There's already laser bits mixed in there. 
All right, let's go see T. Stalley. She's lost less than one percent health, and uh, well, by the time I get over there, yep, there we go, one percent health. So uh, substantial lead right there. I think it's mostly the. It feels like it's mostly the lasers on the uh, on the tungsten slung that's doing the work. I snubbed a barrel already, that's for sure. Though, let's see if we can catch those. Uh, those shells. What are those shells doing? And now the lag begins. Whee! Let's go have a look at uh, Sten Stali. Sten Slung. She's slowing down. Did she get her props destroyed already? Also, I want people to congratulate me on not making a canoe because uh, Tungsten Slung has a rounded booty. Oh, there goes another laser turret. That's not good. I think, yeah, it's like swapping to the other side for the broadside is a really good idea. It means you uh, don't get mauled in the same spot over and over again. Let's look at this gun work. It's getting fried by lasers. That's not good. That's also not good. That's also not good. Uh-oh, props are... Oh, that stopped firing. Interesting. I wonder what happened there. Did the local weapon controller get taken out? That is entirely possible when it comes to fragments. Yes, it... Wow, that's... That is a hell of a spread. Fragments went from here all the way in there and took out the local weapon controller. That is the power of Doomfrag. The impressive, impressive power of Doomfrag, which probably is a sign that I should really start armoring uh, the front and back of my Citadel a lot better. Uh, because that wouldn't have happened if the... Uh, basically, alright, so the way you really make a ship in front of the depths is that you have a big box uh, with the thickest armor, or at least the greatest amount of armor, on the on the side that you intend to be shot at from, and then you b b then you make the front pointy, and then you cover the propulsion somehow. Really, that's how you do it. It's more, way more complicated than that, but um, yeah. Basically, don't do what I do and uh, th hope that uh, things will just work out um, for other things. Oh boy. Oh dear. I think T. Stali is going to win this. Mm. <laughs> oh boy. That is a lot of block confetti. And if nothing else, I am pleased that the Titan Slung is. Pretty missile proof, like uh, between the Sea Whiz, like the APS Sea Whiz and the Laser Sea Whiz, all the interceptors, and the lambs, like trying to hit her with missiles is like, just doesn't work very well. It's a, just a, she's not particularly railgun or, ironically, cram resistant. A mirror match between the Titan Slung is hilarious because you just end up with, um, stuff that's been like crammed dead. We... Oh no. And that right there is a handy reason why to keep uh, your stuff. Uh, what the? Where did that land? Oh, there goes the superstructure. That's embarrassing. Oh my goodness, yes. It's sort of like, really, that does make a lot of sense if you want a craft that does well, just to have basically every kind of weapon on it for like. for versatility's sake, if nothing else. I will never, ever get tired of watching crams hit things in the face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Born cram gunner. I was born to cram. And I was born to cry when cramming doesn't work. Although, if the turtle lord has taught us anything, it's that if cram isn't working, you're not using enough of it. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> well, I have managed to arrange things so I get to feel good no matter what uh, the result is. Because uh, Sten Stalli wins, I say yay, updated, new design with better features wins. And uh, if uh, the uh, T Stalli wins, I get to say like yay. That makes sense, the more expensive uh, craft and the thing I spent more time on wins. So yay, so basically what I'm saying is, is that we're all winners here and uh, no one should feel bad. And um, yeah, just let's just watch the cram sail and wee splat. Also, I do tend to forget the Seabus tends to be kept busy, but those are actually kind of uh, those uh, those little those little heavy head shells do add up a little bit, and by a little bit I mean a lot. Oh boy, poor tungsten slung. Imagine you just sail out of port and this is your sea trials. She does actually have buoyancy issues, but admittedly, it's only when she's almost dead. So that's neat. <laughs> that's neat and cool and awesome. Whee! Spectacular. And you are definitely... Yep. Definitely 80% in sinking. However, when you were almost dead anyway. Alright, so we've uh, safely concluded that uh, T. Starly, for all her flaws, she is bigger and meaner, and uh, those crams really, really, really hurt, and she's basically immune to torpedoes. So, I think that makes a difference here. Uh, T. Starly Mark II definitely wins decisively uh, two out of uh, those three rounds of three. So, that was fun. It's nice to do science every once in a while. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.